hello everyone welcome to my channel today i'll be showing you how to make a 10 percent buffer p8 solution from sodium hydroxide and this is commonly called lye so lye is a substance that's highly corrosive to work with so you have to be careful so you need to put on your goggles and your respirator and your gloves to handle this ingredient so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be working on my water amount and this is distilled water. I'm doing a 10% pH buffer solution. So I will need 90% or 90 grams of distilled water and this is what I'm here adding to my beaker. Into my previous video, I showed you how to make a 50% citric acid solution. That one lowers the pH, this one increases it, so it's totally different. Um, if you need to watch that video, um, the link is into this video, you can take a look. So I'm going to be working on the lye bead phase right now. And I got this to purchase from Amazon. Um, what I did was basically put some into a separate container, um, if you could see at the back of the video there. And I'll be doing the measurement from that. So I need basically 10 grams. So I will be just taking my time to measure this amount into my beaker. I don't want it to go overboard. So I'm being very gentle here. Something important to note when you're working with lye to make the solution, you do not pour the water inside the container with the lye. You are going to do the opposite, which is you're going to gentle, slowly put the lye beads inside the water, slowly and stir it around. If you do it the other way around, you can create an explosion. So we're going to go right ahead and do that. So I'm just taking my time to scrape the beads around and then I'm gently, you know, putting it inside my beaker and I will take my time to stir this around. Immediately as the bead hits the water, um, there are definitely fumes. You may not be able to see fumes, but yes, there are fumes around and the water is very cloudy. So I definitely encourage you to keep on stirring um, at first because if you don't when you come back the beads are just going to be stuck to the bottom of the beaker not dissolve and you don't want that so you want to stir as much as you can in the beginning and it is definitely okay to leave this sitting down like for 15-20 minutes and return the container is very hot right now I should tell you so that will happen as well so this is my second time stirring it again it's not looking as opaque as before so i'm gonna leave it and return again so here we are basically after 60 minutes yes i left it for that long and it's very translucent very clear this is what you're looking for my solution is now cooled down definitely it's a small amount so it wouldn't take long and it's looking very good this is what you are looking for and this very solution now can be used to increase the ph of your products and make actually make stable formulations for you i really do hope you keep this video and come back to it because you will be needing this exact video so when because I plan to make some um, formulation that will require this exact type of solution and that's why I really decided to do it so that when we start to do those videos um, those formulations you will know already know how to make your solution so you can just jump right in without anything holding you back so i am just checking this is looking so great i like how my solution is looking i should point out that this is not the first time i'm making it though um i have made it so many times and it has helped me in all my formulations and to create stable formulations so i'm just basically pouring it inside a very clean um sterile container and i'll be labeling it um and saying 10 percent ph buffer solution so you can try to do that because if you don't label it then you might forget and this is corrosive you don't want anyone going around it and messing with it because it definitely can burn you so i'm excited that i really got to show you this video today and thank you for joining me another time take care don't forget to like and subscribe bye